Hello gorgeous girl, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to do an updated, slightly updated, skincare and makeup routine. 90% um, of these products are super clean, so if clean beauty is something that you are into, this will be a great video for you. And if you're new here, hello, I'm Tracy. I put out brand new fitness, wellness, and lifestyle videos every single week, so if you haven't already, Make sure that you subscribe to my channel, click on the red button, and also for everyone, click on the bell icon. That way you're always gonna know when I have a brand new video that goes live. You know, um, with the algorithm here on YouTube, it is really, really important that you click on that bell because just subscribing is just often not good enough. Hmm. So anyway, um, I'm gonna lead you through my skincare, what I do in the morning. It's kind of like get ready with me in the morning. Um, and some products you've seen me use before and some are new, so, and I always wanna hear from you what you're loving and what you like, so definitely make sure to leave me a comment. So, let's get started. All right, let's, let's put all this to work because mama needs some work. So I'm gonna just clip my hair back. Now, normally I don't have my hair done when I do this, but you know, in the interest of helping y'all out, I did do my hair. So, um, first thing that I do, um, in the morning, I actually don't wash my face. Um, I just feel like I don't need to. Um, you know, I might if I feel like I did a really big workout and I want to um, splash my face with water, great. But otherwise, I'll just use a toning spray. Lately, I've been just loving this rose water and glycerin. It's not new for me, I've been using it for a while, and I'm just a huge fan of a toning spray because, spray toner, um, because it just freshens you up. I just I love how it feels and I'll put it on multiple times during the day. So this is the one that I'm getting. Everything will be linked down below. So there is that. Then we're gonna go into eye cream. I'm gonna be looking down a lot because all my stuff is here and I don't have a table that's like the perfect height. That's okay. This is like reality, right? So this is the Pharmacy Do It All Eye Cream. Um, I'm not married to this. Uh, this is just something that I've been using lately. Um, and I like it. It's nice. It's light. I feel like it, it uh, you know, doesn't get my concealer all creasy. I also do put it on the tops of my lids, so that is that. Getting hydrated, feeling good. All right, next up I'll do a serum. So during the day, this is not new. If you've been following me for a while, I love the Drunk Elephant Vitamin C C Firma uh, Serum. So I just do one pump every day. Love, 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 love. And I go boom, 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 boom. And then I save some for my neck. What is with the singing? You know what was with the singing? I'll tell you what's with the singing. The singing is because all I do is sing to my daughter um, these days, you know? She's really big on ABCs. That's her favorite song. I just start it and she gets a big smile on her face. So when I do my vitamin C, I go up. Up, 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 all right? We wanna just massage. We never wanna pull down on the face. Up, 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 keep things lifted. You know, you can press it in. You do you, whatever feels good, okay? That's my skincare in the morning. I don't know why I always do this. I'll just put some on the back of my hand, just in case, right? Um, then uh, we're gonna go into makeup and sunscreen. So hopefully I have everything. Again, a lot of this stuff I've used before, but you know, this is just to show you sort of what I'm up to um, these days. So um, I'm gonna be using the Drunk Elephant Deep Bronzy, so a single little pump of that. I might do a little bit more. So like that much-ish. And then I, I've tried moving on from this sunscreen, but I love this. I love the um, Umbra Tint. SPF 30 from also from Drunk Elephant. I'm not sponsoring this video, I just like their stuff a lot. So, and that's the end of the Drunk Elephant stuff. So, um, just like that, and you just mix it up. I don't use foundation. I haven't used foundation in like a year. I don't use it for videos. I used to like do different makeup for like videos and then like, you know, for real life and like, you know, put like camera makeup. The only difference that I, I will do is when I'm doing a, um, video sometimes I'll add lashes you know like why not give yourself a lash but um, I don't always do that so this I put everywhere and I always really really make sure to get it in like up around my hairline so I don't get any weird lines and then you know rub it in your neck and your chin and your throat just so that you have an even color don't forget about this little spot by your ears Okay, I, I really like this because I do wear sunscreen every day 
And because it's adding a little bit of color, my arms are always a little bit, my arms and my chest, since living in Miami, are always a little bit darker um, than my legs and my face. So, you know, in the interest of trying to make everything match, that's what I do. So now I'm just gonna check it to make sure I don't look like a clown. No, nope, looks good. I, I mean, that alone, like, as a new mom, we you need to get out of your house in five minutes, brush your brows, do that, and like, you can go, you know? Oh, I forgot to say something else that I do. Um, this is the Henne, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but this is a lip balm that I found, uh, non-toxic. I try to really make sure that as many products as I can are non-toxic, as clean as possible. I really like this, it's organic. Um, it feels really good, and I'm a sucker for like any kind of lip product in a pot, and I think the packaging is very like chic. It's very nice, I like that it's black, it's just nice. So that's on, and I just kind of let that seep in as I do my makeup. All right, so next we're gonna conceal. Um, again, not something new, but I promise you we have some new things. You just have to wait a little bit. Um, so this is the RMS Uncover Up. I love this concealer because um, you can't F it up. And I've said that before, but honestly, like I try to mess this concealer up and it's like, I just can't. So it is, you know, really, really good. So here's a funny thing. I, I think I shared this on, on Instagram. And if you're not following me on Instagram, please follow me at, at Tracy Campoli. Um, I post on Insta stories like every day. So I was like, you know, when I was pregnant, really, really conscientious about, you know, making sure like all of my beauty products were non-toxic. Now I've been doing that for years, um, but I was even more conscientious when I was pregnant as one is, you know, when they're pregnant. And then, you know, once Lucci was born, I was like, oh, I can't, you know, I can like lay off a little bit and I run out of like a highlighter and I started using a different one. And then I, I don't know, I gave her a hug or something and I realized that she had the highlighter all over her face. <laughs> and I was like, oh my God. So, you know, when you have little ones, you might wanna just be more conscientious because, you know, they're always like hands in their mouth and face and all that. So um, try to get things as clean as possible. Now, I'm not perfect, right? We are not all perfect here. Um, and I am certainly not. Um, so some of this, like there are, I think, two things that, uh, three, that I could do better with, but that's when I ask you for help because you guys help me um, find good products. Okay, so all I did is I just covered up a little bit. Um, you know, look, I'm 45. I don't need to put like 80 pounds of concealer on. It's gonna make you look older. Trust, I don't care if you're 25, trust. If you put a ton of makeup on, it's gonna make you look older. So um, keep things light and that's why I really like this RMS Uncover Up because like I said, you can't F it up. You know, it's just really easy to dab, dab, dab. And as a mom, like, lifesaver. Okay. New powder, finally found a powder I really like. Um, this is the Honest Beauty, what is it called? Invisible Blurring Loose Powder. Um, I love it for many reasons. I love the packaging. It's clean, I love their branding, but I also love that it's, it doesn't make a mess in your purse or in your life. So I just put a little bit into the cap and just kind of pour it out, very little. All right, just a little bit, I don't even know if you can see that, but that's what I do. And then I just use a brush and I swirl it up like this. And then I just powder only the areas where I put the concealer. So that's a little bit under the eye, a little bit around the nose, top of my lids, in the middle of my forehead here, and on my chin, and that's it. So you see it's all just kind of anywhere where that concealer was. I did powder, I have like a little bit of like skin pigment here, so I, I'll do that, but that's it. Um, this Honest Powder, I really like it. It has a weird smell, it smells like cake, <laughs> which is, sort of weird, um, but I do like it a lot. And I found that it, it gets good coverage, it does what it needs to do, but it doesn't ever look cakey on my skin, which is a great thing, so hugely love that. Okay, does she like this bronzer or what? But again, I'm not a beauty blogger, this is just my real life, so this is same old, this is the Burt's Bee Blush in Toasted Cinnamon, and that's what I use as my bronzer, and I've used it for like a year. I mean, not this one, but we've gotten new ones many times. Um, and I don't contour, I don't do anything, I just do that. <laughs> and then I put it on. And I, you know, pretty liberally just like put it all over my face. As one does where the sun would hit. So, you know, this is just warming me up. If I wasn't talking to you too, like I can do this whole makeup in like eight minutes. I'd wanna say five minutes. I don't think it takes me quite 10 minutes, but probably like eight minutes. 
So that's pretty quick. That's good, you know, as a mom. Always bring it down here, you know, gives you a little, a little lift, all right? So this is the order that I do things in too, you know, because I don't know if it's right, <laughs> but that's just the way I like to do it, okay. Then I do my eyebrows because I have found that if I do the bronzer and then I do the brows, I usually mess up my brows. So this is also something I've been using for a while. It's the Jane Iredell. I don't know how you say it. Um, this is her brow gel in blonde. I really like it. It lasts forever and I always just go zoop and I take some off, okay? And I'm just basically brushing up ye old brows, okay? I have gray eyebrow hairs. Um, so, and I, you know, I thought about getting them, I've actually recently been thinking about getting them microplaned. Should I get my eyebrows microplaned? Like, can you let me know if you've gotten it done, if you love it? I have some friends that have gotten it done, it looks amazing, and then I have some other friends that have gotten it done, or know some people that have gotten it done, and I don't think it looks that great. Um, so I'd love to hear from you. Um, that's, that's all I do. Easy peasy. What do you say? Lemon squeezy. Ooh, I forgot my lash curler. So the next thing I do is curl my lashes. So I gotta whip that out. Um, and I have a new mascara and I finally, it took me like forever to find a good clean mascara. I have been on the hunt for you to find a good clean mascara because none that I found were like, I just didn't, like a lot of them they didn't curl um, or the formulations would be sort of more like oil based, I guess. I don't know. Um, so that then they wouldn't um, last. And I have very straight, straight, straight lashes. I have long lashes and I have light lashes. So I need the, the color payoff, like I need a, a, a black mascara, but I also need it to not get heavy because my lashes tend to be straight anyway. And I'm loving the Honest Beauty Mascara. And it has a primer, which I always thought that was like super gimmicky. And this is like one of the things that really, um, motivated me to want to do this video for you guys is because I usually think like lash primers primers are kind of gimmicky but this one is awesome um I love it because it I just love the fact that like when I put it on because it's like white um I can see exactly how long my lashes are which makes me happy because my lashes are actually pretty long um but also blonde which is annoying um and then I, I also do the bottom as well. And I and this lasts like forever. It's it's a clean product. You know, I did my research, and I really, really, really like it more than any other clean mascara I have found. So, you know, run, don't walk, and get yourself the honest mascara. I am hot. It is hot, hot, hot today in Miami. Let me tell you. So, yeah. I mean. Being a mom is awesome and a lot. <laughs> it is really like the best thing in the world. Like she's at like the sweetest age right now where like she just laughs and laughs and laughs and like smiles and she's so social. Like the other day we went out to lunch and she was like, <laughs> like so excited because I was like, holding her instead of having her in the carriage and she just knew like, oh my God, we're going somewhere. She was so excited. Okay, so I probably look a little cray. Maybe I look a little cray, I don't know. Um, now I'm gonna put on the mascara. So I think I'm gonna pause it and put the mascara on in my bathroom. Not because I don't want you to see it, but I just always make a mess and it'll just make life easier. So in just a second, you're gonna see me with gorgeous lashes. Okay, so mascara is done. Um, it didn't get too terribly all over the place, but I always have a just a regular Q-tip uh, with some water, and that's how I just clean it up when I inevitably mess up. Okay, so next we are going to, I always do my mascara first because then I can clean it up and you know not take it all off. Um, although sometimes I get messy, so we'll see. <laughs> Fingers crossed I won't do that here. Powder your lashes next. So I just have a little brush like this, a fluffy brush. And why I love this, the packaging here is I don't have to you know, dirty everything. I just kind of go on the edge here and I just pick up a little bit of that loose powder on the, the edge of the brush. And I just really gently, so as to not like mess it up, I just powder up my lashes. And I gotta tell you guys, like, I'm not kidding like how long this lasts. Like it lasts all day. I tend to like rub my eyes, um, you know, when I get tired or like at night or whatever. And like when, at the end of the day, when I go to wash my face, like my mascara looks awesome. It hasn't budged. 
Um, I was using another brand. I was using the Thrive Cosmetics for a while, and um, that it has like kind of those extensions in, and so it, it was nice. It was good. But what I really didn't like about it was when I would wash my face, that crap would get all over my face. So it was like, it just felt kind of like dirty when I was coming, getting it off and I didn't like that. So I like this a lot better, just like regular mascara and um, it's just better. Okay, next up, so is eyeshadow, but with a kick. Um, so this is something new. So this is um, from 100% Pure. This is a blush in Brandy of this on your eyes if you have coloring like mine if you have blue eyes or lighter eyes and probably even if you have brown eyes this freaking color is phenomenal so just with an eyeshadow brush put it on your eyes and get ready to be like oh my god Tracy thank you now someone in total body transformation I don't remember who it was so forgive me had asked me you know I asked like hey what videos do you guys want to see next and someone was like I want to see like an updated makeup because we have similar coloring and I just it just makes it easier for me to buy the colors that you use and this is new and I gotta tell you I love it and I kind of do like a wash on my whole lid I'm very cautious about getting down by the lashes though not because I don't want the color all the way there but just inevitably I smudge the mascara so like oh how good is that? Are you seeing that color? I love it. It's not pink, it's not brown, it's not even bronzy. Like a lot of times I'll put my bronzer and I'm just literally obsessed with this color. So this is like for me, like the hero new product that I use that I'm absolutely freaking loving. So that is that tell you total side note I've been working out like really regularly for like the last month and a half and I'm so sore I'm so sore today so today I did in from total body transformation I did the workout called boxy tone and my legs like I went to like grab something from one of my counters and I was like, ah, ah. <laughs> like what have I been doing okay so then with a brush like this all right I'm gonna do underneath um, and in my lash line and again it you know, you can't really mess this up. Just keep it like really easy, really light. I love this color so, so much. I love what it does for blue eyes. So again, 100% pure in the color Brandy. It's an interesting texture too. Um, I thought I was getting a cream blush, but it's really like a drier texture. I'm using the same brush and I'm just kind of getting into the, the eyelid a little bit more because um, I want to build up this color more for a little bit more drama. I mean, it's so not dramatic. I love your dramatic makeup because like, I just don't even know how to. Okay, so then, yay, life is easy. Use your finger. And then just go on your cheeks here. Um, I need to get my nails done, so please, no judgment. <laughs> I, have, I only do gels since I've had the baby. And um, my nails really started breaking recently. So they all broke off. And one of them is so short that I don't want to get my nails done because it actually kind of hurts. I also put my blusher on my nose. You know, we want to pretend like I didn't do anything. I just naturally look adorbs. But really, we did a lot of things. Okay? Like, easy peasy, apple squeezy. Good times. Okay. Then, um, I'm going to use the same liner that I've been using forever. If you have a clean option, so this is like a bronze uh, eyeliner from Wet n Wild. I know it's not clean. I'm going to have to look down here because I don't think I can do this in the camera. So let's see. This is going to look super weird. Voila. So I just do that like on the waterline. I like it because it just gives a little bit of a glow. But again, looking for a clean product um, that ha is like a bronze pencil. So if you have one and you know one, please do leave it in because I'm so open for purchasing it. Um, okay, next up is highlighter. Um, same one that I've been loving forever, the RMS Living Luminizer. This is a brand new one. It always gets kind of discolored because I'll have blush on my fingers when I put it on, but what whatevs. Um, so I do inner corners. I've switched up my highlighter game ever so slightly. I can only give you guys like the most boring makeup ones. But you know I like you know I like to do these for you? Because I watch so many of like YouTube makeup tutorials and it's like who's gonna do all that crap? Like no one, you know, and it's just like way too much makeup. 
So then I do cheekbones. Again, you can't mess this up. I love it for that. You literally cannot mess it up. You just can't. Um, with these formulations, RMS, they're so creamy. Um, they're so good. They're so blendable. Then I go down my nose. And then the new thing I've been doing is I just kind of make a line. So I go boop. So it's like Cupid's bow and then also on my chin here. So I'm just basically highlighting this whole section. You want to know why I do that? Well, let me tell you. Because you know like on Instagram, there's all those like fun filters that you can use on Insta stories. Well, I started looking at them. I'm like, why does that make me look so much better? And it's because they have highlights. Like it'll have like a, a, a placed highlight like right on your nose and right here. And I was like, well, why don't I just do that in real life instead of using a, a filter? Okay, next up is lips. Again, we're in the non-clean zone. So um, I'm telling you guys, please, if you've got something good, this is, again, this is the Milani 03 in Nude Lip Liner. I love this liner. Uh, I love it with every fiber of my being. I overline just a titch on the lips. Because, like, why not? Um, so I did just recently purchase, and I should link it, a Clove and Hello, I don't know exactly how you pronounce it, which is a clean brand, um, lip gloss, which I like. But why I don't like it is because it's lip gloss, and I didn't really think about that. I kiss my daughter all the time, so, like, if I wear it, and I give her a smooch, then she's got like lipstick all over her face. So I'm really more down with the matte, you know, formulations, cause then they stay on me and don't get all over Lucci. So we don't need, you know, my <laughs> little infant wearing makeup. Uh, okay, so just fill this in. Like that. No, that could be good enough, okay? But I like to just put a little extra. You don't have to do this step. So I'm going to use this is a Maybelline. What color is this? Poet. What is this thing called? Maybelline Matte Ink Super Stay. Okay, again, not a clean product, but we'll live with it. And again, if you've got something that's kind of like this, send it my way. So I love this because it gives me, um, it goes on really creamy, but then it dries matte. So again, I don't get it all over Lucci, which is good. And then I just take my finger and kind of go boop, 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 okay? And then, you know, if I was feeling pale, which I'm not, I would take this and put it on my cheeks too, but we don't need to do that. That is it. I hope that you enjoyed this. Uh, full disclosure, I did add on the magnetic lashes that I love using. They will be linked down below. They're really easy to use. I'm certainly no expert, and if I tried to put them on ca in, on camera, it would be like a mess. So, um, but this is literally how I do my makeup. When I'm not chatting with you and I'm just kind of doing it on my own time, this literally will take me about eight minutes. So it helps me to just wake up, feel like a person, feel like myself, and as a new mom, oh my God, it's so important. So I hope that you love this. Please do leave me a comment down below, like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.